Girl, hey, it's Missy Eyes, and I've got some really good news for you. The first piece of good news I have for you as my loyal fans is I finished my last dress today. I'm doing the formals for the Selfless Sisters of the Rising Sun, and the Exequator is this weekend. It's actually, the formal event is Saturday, and I had to do tons of dresses and zippers and all that. Uh, I did the last one today. Technically, I haven't even started one of them, but I don't think she can go, so I wasn't even able to get her measurements. Um, but um, I might be whipping up a costume in the middle of the night if she can go. Nonetheless, other than that, I'm completely finished, so every free moment of my time will not be spent sewing dresses for the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. But our Exequator is this weekend. It's tonight, actually, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, and I will be tied up for the rest of this weekend doing things with the sisters. But my Misty Minutes and Ask Misty's and videos will be returning very shortly. The second piece of good news is I have, thanks to you, my loyal and dedicated fans, I am in the top 10 of RuPaul's online casting, and um, you can continue to vote for me until Monday, so Sweet. to be uploaded on Saturday, so you have Saturday, Sunday, and for a little piece of Monday, you can continue to vote for me for the top 10 on RuPaul's Drag Race online casting, so please go do that. I honestly thought that in this video I would be telling you my apologies that I didn't make it. Um, on s the first three days of the online voting I was a very, very high third place, meaning nobody was close to me, fourth, fifth, etc. And then on Sunday I got a Facebook message from somebody in Bangladesh asking if I would be interested in his help in helping me in the contest. And of course I was like, duh, share it, please. Um, of course I want your help. I've been asking all my friends. I've been Twittering, Instagramming, Facebooking, emailing, anything I could think of to reach my fans or say, hey, don't forget to go vote today. Um, I'm like, duh, of course I want your help. And he was like, oh, but it's a service I'm providing. I will provide online votes and competitions with real profiles, real whatever. And I was like, oh, Never mind, I'm not interested in cheating. Well, the very next day, on Monday, um, <laughs> I went from a very high third place to a very low sixth place. And then a couple hours later, I went to eighth place. And then a couple hours later, I went to tenth place. And I, my heart was sick. I, I completely freaked out. I totally had a binge attack. Like, I couldn't sleep, but I started eating the house down. Um, you know sick about it because this is something that I want and I did another video saying please 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 everyone go vote for me and um and I just like freaked out and asked my fans please 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 step it up you know I lost third place I lost fourth place you know blah blah, blah. and thanks to you guys without cheating you guys helped me win top 10. Um, the votes in this next round are erased, or hidden rather, and scrambled, so we have no idea. But that doesn't mean that I'm doing good, that doesn't mean I'm doing bad, that means you need to continue to vote. You have a couple more days, so keep voting for me. And I greatly, greatly appreciate it, and I'm so thankful for all of you for continuing to believe in me, and promote it on your page, and share it on your Twitters, and things like that, because I'm seeing all the messages, and I'm forever thankful and grateful. And it's humbling that I, and, and shocking that I'm so, that you, it's humbling and shocking that you guys believe in me so much. In fact, it's kind of a, a unique pressure where I'm like, what if I do make it? Will I be able to live up to your expectations? But I'm not trying to think about that right now. Right now, I'm just asking you to continue to vote. Go vote, go vote, go vote. Uh, round one, this, this round ends in on Monday at noon, I think. And I'm not sure, but I think this is the last round. Um, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, so yeah. That being said, it's Saturday, and that means I'm here with Queens of the Week. Tonight's topic was selected for you by Lady Portia Diamante, and she would like to know our thoughts on gay marriage. I suggested this topic when we were doing the whole Supreme Court thing, but since the deciding factor wouldn't be until June, which is why my red equal right sign is still in my Facebook, um, I decided to wait a minute. But Lady Portia decided to bring it back to the surface, and she wants to know our thoughts on gay marriage. 
And I have a couple unique thoughts. I actually did a video on my personal channel. I'll put the link here for you. Um, and I'm not sure what I said then because I haven't watched it. It was actually June of last year. And my thoughts are simple. Um, I do believe in equality. And I do believe that gay people, if they want to be married to someone, should have the right to. And there are legal obligations that come with marriage, such as hospitalization and medical bills and, and wills and, and things like that that are definitely definitely important. If you've been with somebody for 40 years and they're on the deathbed and you can't see them in the hospital, that's fucking retarded. That's bullshit. It's dumb. But at the same token, why would gay people want to subject themselves to the same thing as straight people with marriage? How many marriages end in divorce? How many gay marriages are going to end in divorce? Probably a lot more. I don't think that gay men by nature are capable of monogamous relationships. And I say that being stereotypically. Look at the Bible, for example. How many kings had concubines? How many people had many, many wives? It just by nature, gay men are not monogamous by nature. They expect their wives to be monogamous. But there are some of us gay people that have a female gene, or they're just Capricorns or whatever. I've never cheated on a boyfriend before. Grant it. I am very reluctant to get into a relationship because they usually end up so messy and gross. Um, so, but when I am in a relationship, even if it's a sexless, abusive relationship, I don't cheat. Being the public eye just comes with responsibility, and I do take that serious. So, in my last relationship, I wanted to cheat all the time, and I was afraid to. I didn't want to, and, but realistically, I didn't even want to. Like, I wanted to try to make it work, and long story short, I just don't think men by nature are monogamous creatures. However, I do believe it's possible to fall in love and live happily ever after. Maybe that's a little Disney girl in me, but I do think it's possible, and I do hope to find that for myself. But at the same token, I am open-minded enough to realize that maybe I am capable. But I'm also open-minded enough to realize that I'm an adult, and I could go into a mutual understanding. There are many reasons to have a relationship. And if my husband wants an open relationship, I might consider that. I am very good friends with some people in the leather community and they do things in the leather community that most people don't do like fisting for example, um, golden showers, things like that and um, I am very good friends with a monogamous couple that was monogamous for their first two years and then after the second year they decided to open it with rules or guidelines. One of the rules is one wants to be fisted and the only way the only way he's allowed to cheat is if he's being fisted because that's something that his partner doesn't do for him. Um, and then the other one is in their relationship, one's a top, one's a bottom, but the other one wants to top every once in a while. So they have permission to see outside the relationship if he's seeking out a bottom. And that makes sense to me. I get it. So I'm, I think I would be interested in maybe possibly finding a relationship like that if, you know, for example, if you were ever to sleep with another drag queen, I would not be okay with that. Um, but if you needed a leather daddy to top you, because I'm primarily mostly 90% a bottom, and if you needed a leather daddy to top you because I'm not able to do that for you, I think I would be open to that idea. Maybe I'm growing. I don't know, but... I still secretly want that monogamous fairy tale princess. I want to be everything to each other. But if that's not possible, I'm open minded enough to fix it in our relationship. But back to legal rights, I do think that it's not okay for America to tell people that they are subhuman or subspecies or sub important to society because they are attracted to the same sex. That's bullshit. I think it's ludicrous. I think it's dumb. So if a man wants to have legal marriage with another man, why not? Look at Britney Spears. She married for a guy for a couple hours. You know, she got a divorce. Gay people should be able to do the same thing. That's my thoughts. And this is Misty Eyes with Queens of the Week.